Bye. Hey Russ here. Welcome back to my shop. Today we're going to do a little rambling Russ. Um, I have a lot of people that I subscribe to on YouTube and I watch their channels all the time through the day. And I have a particular subscriber named Backyard Woodshop is the name of the channel. Tom Ryder. And I've been a subscriber of his for a long time. I've always enjoyed his channel. But a couple days ago, I saw it yesterday, he did a video on his apron, his shop apron. And I thought, how fascinating was that? And he talked about how he uses his, he uses two of them and switches between them as they get dirty. And I thought that was a pretty clever idea. And he also showed what he carries in his pockets. He actually keeps it pretty lean in his apron. He doesn't carry a lot. But quite as a matter of fact, I don't either. Let me show you what I carry in mine. This is inspired by Tom. I loved it when he showed what he did. And so I thought I'd show you how I use my apron and also. So to begin with, the upper section, I have a large slotted area here and two small ones. And I carry a carpenter pencil and a six inch ruler. And those are always nice. I use the ruler all the time, so that's why I keep it here. I keep this little pocket screwdriver. Used to be a 12 volt tester, and it still works as a tester, but I never needed for that. But I actually use this as a little pry bar. I really have to get in there and dig something out. Sometimes it's just a quick, easy tool to grab. And so I do keep that here. I keep a marking pen. This is a little Scripto Extra Fine Permanent Marker. This one happens to be purple. Uh, I change the colors out. I got different colors of them, and I change them out now and then. But I always try to carry one in here for marking, emergency marking. And then I also have this little screwdriver from Stanley. I don't know why, but I bought it about seven years ago. And actually, it's just a cute little um, screwdriver. It has a flip screwdriver tip, very small. This is a Phillip. The other one's a regular. And then on the other end, you have another set that are a little bit bigger, shaped a little different than that side. So it comes with these little screwdrivers. And every now and then, it's just handy to have this in my pocket. Um, and that's what I carry up here. Now, the lower part, if you take a look, on the lower part, I have several pockets here. Three in the front and three in the back. The one in the back in the center is actually subdivided. And I don't usually keep anything in these three pockets. I used to carry my tape measure hooked in here, but it actually wore a hole in there. So I stopped doing that. But it still functions as a pocket if I need to. Uh, mostly what I keep in there now, sawdust. That's another story. So, that's how I do in the center. On the center, on the two outside ones in the back, on this side, I carry my little tape measure. Just a little 12 footer. And this one has the opposite way it locks. You have to squeeze it in order to move it. And then when you let go, it stays there. It's bass backwards of where most tape measures the way they work. But I actually kind of like it. So I carry it around in here, and if I need a quick take, there it is. I also carry a little razor knife, just like Tom does, but this one is a little different. This is a little fold-up knife, and actually it works pretty well most of the time as a utility knife, easy to change the blade out as needed. I keep it pretty sharp. On this side, in the back, I carry one of my little six-inch combination squares. I have couple three of these around they're just handy to have around with the because some a lot of times I'll use the level or use the scratch all so it's nice to have everything in here but um, I just keep it close at hand it's handy to have at times and then in these two I keep empty so if I have little parts to put in there and I have to don't want to put them on the bench I can put them in there and they're not really lost I can find them once I put them in there they never fall out and then the last pocket in the front, in the center, that's where I keep my flashlight. Now, I got to say, Tom, nothing personal, but my flashlight is cooler than your flashlight. Uh, mine is, I made it on the design of a set of knuckles. And then when you put them on, your thumb is where the button is to turn it on and off. And so this makes it real easy to hold and not accidentally drop. If I want, I can take it off set it down it doesn't roll around so if i want to set it there and point it or i can hold it just from one of the finger holes and hold it like this in order to use it so it's a handy little thing to have and just in case the wife gets mad at me about something 
Like maybe using her toothbrush when I'm not supposed to? No, that's another story. Never mind. <laughs> but anyway, it's just kind of nice. I thought it'd be different. So I made this, and I've been using this for about four or five years now. It's actually handy, and it's easy to find in my pocket because of the size of it and the shape. I know what it is immediately when I look when I reach down to get it. So that's in my last pocket. That's what I carry in my apron. Um, it is a shop. It's a um, bucket boss apron, and it has. It does have the loop over the neck, but it also has a secondary strap here that comes down to a strap around my above my lower back, and it just snaps in with a snap from a uh, plastic hook. And that holds it, and that pulls it down so that the back of this never pulls on my neck. And so that's one thing I hate about a lot of the shop, my old shop aprons. They hung around your neck and pulled down on your neck and your shoulders, and I hated that. This one doesn't do that, so that's why I like it. Now, unlike Tom, this is the only one I got. So uh, maybe someday I can afford to have two of them. We'll see. But this is my shop apron. I like it. Works well for me the way I do it. It's not too heavy. I don't keep a lot of stuff in it, but I can add stuff to it if I'm doing something special, which is nice. So I have the extra pockets. So that's what I keep in my shop apron. If you use one, you know, and you want to talk about it or show us what you got, I'd be interested in hearing about it. Uh, I want to thank Tom for inspiring me to do this video. And I want to thank you for stopping by and seeing, watching this video. If you liked it, please say so. But most importantly, Please come back again because we're nowhere near done. There's lots more to come. Thanks. We'll see you again soon.